We are at the European Economic Congress in Katowice in Poland, one of the biggest economic congresses in Central Europe. And I am here with uh, Grant Blaisdell from Copernic Space and Eva Blaisdell of Lady Rocket. Nice to have you here. Nice to be here. Thank, Thank you. you. Tell us about Copernic Space, Grant. Uh, Copernic Space is the platform, the marketplace that is going to bring the space economy to the mass commercial market as well as to the average person so they can have economic access to space overall. How does it fit with the NFT and blockchain ideas? Yeah, so the, the platform is what nowadays you'd call a Web3 platform. We're actually non-intermediary when it comes to assets, uh, the transactions themselves. So what we're actually acting as is the economic operating system that connects economic players who are either in the space economy or want to be in the space economy. So we apply NFTs in various unique ways when it comes to fractional ownership of actual assets in space to satellite data licenses and accessing those, that satellite data through the NFT under the license itself. So we actually view ourselves you know, we kind of don't want to get thrown in the NFT basket that, that most people think of. Uh, we kind of view ourselves as the foundational infrastructure to how NFTs are going to be used in the digital economy in the future. So you are an American company that is both active in American and European market. And how do you think American space companies contribute to the growth of European uh, space industry? They kind of don't in a lot of ways. And I've talked about this before. The European and, and American markets are quite segmented from each other. Uh, partially that's due to NASA and ESA. So, you know, if you're an American company, you can't really do ESA programs, for example. Uh, and there's also a lot of interesting things happening in Asia. Uh, you know, you can even look at a, a market like India. So we're a, gl we're a global solution. We're not here to, you know, we're not here to be like, oh, you're American, so we'll work with you more over a year. European one. We have great European partners. Uh, you know, we, we do some, some collaborative stuff with the Polish Space Agency as well, just like you can find us on the NASA website. Um, but I think that a, a platform like ours actually will represent kind of the graying and breaking down of these walls and barriers between the segmentation of the European and the American market. Uh, since, you know, for example, Europeans will be able to buy fractional ownership and some utility on like Lunar Outpost Rover through our platform, which is an American company, right? It's an American rover. Eva, where do you see opportunities for American companies in European uh, space industry? Um, thank you for your question. Uh, when I was listening to, to your conversation, I want to share with our audience a very brief introduction why Copernic Space so I can then answer sure. your very good question. Uh, I am so thrilled to be here especially with Grant who is also my son and the third generation of American Polish space family. And so Copernic Space was conceived in a very dramatic circumstances which repeated itself over and over again. Together with Grant, we were a guest or participated in the SpaceX and United Launch Alliance rocket launches at the Vandenberg Space Base in California. And symbolically, it inspired us to rise above existing segmentation of, like Grant was saying, uh, the marketplace on Earth for space, segmented geographically, but also another segmentation that we are addressing, segmentations of these who are in the space industry and those we are surrounded by, by people here who cannot find an easy way to be a part of the most important space economy coming toward humanity. So Copernic Space was conceived by us in response to the visual mighty of rocket launches surrounded by beauty of California, which made us also reflect that space can help also Earth in many ways. And then, like Grant was saying, we decided to create, using blockchain technology, a ubiquitous, universal, open to everybody platform, which in a very unique way will capture something that we call space assets and Grant gave some very good examples that will be organized in such a way that using NFTs and future financial solutions we can open up co-ownership of the space economy to all of us 
uh, it's needed, uh, it's a new source of wealth, it's a new source of democracy, and also because I personally believe that uh, Copernic space, our NFTs, can create new layers of wealth on Earth that can be spent on Earth to help us protect Earth either the climate change and to build new universal democratic space industry in Poland, in Europe, in the United States, who is a leader right now. So you can ask me a question about Vice President Harris. Yes, of course. <laughs> I believe you mentioned Vandenberg Space yes. Base and you had an opportunity to meet the First Lady. Yes. Tell us about this event. Um, it was, uh, I was um, very honored and very pleased to be recognized as a Copernic Space um, and as a philanthropist in the space industry to be included um, in a very, very special meeting uh, because meeting included specifically also General Raymond who is in charge of the uh, Space Force in the United States and it was dedicated to seeking solutions that Copernic Space can very uniquely participate in solution to finding financial means, technological means to deal with the space debris. Space debris might not be something that is on our minds every day, but it really should be because space debris can damage the satellites which deliver to us internet, uh, financial services and endanger security of the planet Earth. So Copernic Space and Grant can co uh, comment a little bit more about uh, how we can help finance something that's not easily financeable, cleaning up of the space. Now, the opportunity to be with Madame uh, Vice President Kamala Harris inspired me also to look at opportunity of the United States to come closer to work with Poland, especially under the circumstances of a joint military strategy because of the conflict uh, war in Ukraine. So I believe this is a wonderful opportunity to follow through and my presence here in this country, Congress can support to highlight to Madame Vice President Harris, who is also in charge of the space program, that Poland should be recognized as a very special partner also in the space, potentially even space force. But Grant, I think you can comment a little bit more about how Copernic Space can address uh, space debris and some other space issues. Well, it, it fits into our, our general overall viewpoint of how the new space economy is going to move forward, which is that uh, governments themselves aren't going to be the ones that fund uh, all these solutions. Most of these solutions are coming out of the private sector. So, of course, they can help around that. Uh, also, when it comes to space debris itself, but the space economy overall, once again, these kind of, if you're an investor, these liquidity event timelines that you have set in the space economy, the way it is set today, is like a decade if you're lucky, right? So the investment incentive into things like space debris solutions is, is down the line, high risk, a lot of upfront capital. So we realize that the people who have the biggest incentive, the biggest emotional attachment, uh, the highest amount of collective capital, and just that risk tolerance for those sort of investments, so to say, is the general public, is the average person, right? And, and really, you know, if you look at publicly, it's the general public and the press that are pushing the space debris aspect a lot. When I talk to people on the street, that's like their big thing. They're like, well, okay, well, you need to figure that out because we're polluting stuff here and then we're going to pollute stuff there and you can't even use space functionally then if that gets out of hand. So like it is something to be figured out, but it's going to be more so figured out by the private market with the help of platforms like ours and NASA as opposed to NASA being the driver behind it in our viewpoint. So numerous opportunities yes. as vast as the space itself. Grant, Eva, thank you. Thank you. Uh, it was great to have you here. Thank you. It was Appreciate a pleasure. It.